When I first saw this place, even in screenshots, I couldn't believe my eyes. To think that one player, even in vanilla, can create something like this, all on their own. This is SKA 2 Slab Pyramid. It was designed and inspired by Hard Hat's accomplishments. And truly, I have to say, this is very willing. And if Hard Hat saw this today, I don't know what he would think. He would think this is absolutely insane. I mean, just look at this. Holy shit, I cannot believe that I'm the only person that has the ability to see this place. It's absolutely insane. Right now, I'm currently in a single player world as I cannot even render half of this in on 2B2T. But if you don't believe me, here's a few screenshots. As you can see, this is just madness, complete madness. Just pyramid after pyramid after pyramid. And all of this was made out of over 180,000 stone slabs. 180,000, that's completely crazy. And all by one player as well. The amount of perfection and flawlessness that was needed to create something like this because if you were off by one block you'd have to take this entire thing down and redo it all by one person it's crazy to think about as you see it goes all the way down it stretches about 800 blocks in that direction and in that direction 800 blocks by 800 blocks and it just keeps going i can't even render it all in with 32 render distance which is crazy it's that massive SK2 is a very unknown builder, and he he needs to be known for this massive pyramid he's constructed. The slab pyramid. He was very inspired. I've talked to him quite a bit. Very inspired. He's very inspired by Hard Hat's pyramid. Heck, he's so inspired that he not only made this, but to bring back Hard Hat's pyramid after he was griefed, he rebuilt that. Now the fact that one player can create this and recreate what Hard Hat did is insanity. Literally, SKA2 is completely insane. The fact that he can create this artwork all on his own is magnificent. And if you see, it just keeps going. It literally just keeps going. Like, I can wander for ages, ages and ages, and there's just more pyramids after more pyramids. And you can see they're all stacked on top of each other. You can see there's one pyramid right there, and that one pyramid is along a ton of other pyramids that make up one massive pyramid. And add that all together, it makes up another huge pyramid. I don't know how one person can design all of this, rebuild it, mine out all those stone slabs, and not lose their sanity. Because this was built over the span of a month and a half. And that whole month and a half, SKA2 logged on 2B2T and placed slabs all day long. Slab after slab after slab for hours on end and the craziest part if this all wasn't enough he designed this just to honor hard hat that's it there was no reward no stacked armor no dubs of gapples it was all just honor hard hats and if we head into the night it's just an insane view because all these torches are placed perfectly in the center of these, these elevated skywalks. And they're also in the center where all the pyramids connect. And it gives off this amazing view. If you ever see SK2 online, please let him know that his build is absolutely insane. Completely amazing. Because he didn't ask for anything about this. He doesn't brag at all. He acts like this is nothing. That's the that's the craziest part. I've talked to him. He's just like, this is nothing to him. But to anyone else, it's just, we all would have lost our minds. I wouldn't have been able to create one pyramid without going insane. But here he is, creating pyramid after pyramid, placing stone slab after stone slab. The greatest monotony. And he's been able to do it without losing his sanity. With every angle, I can barely comprehend it. It's an infinity of pyramids after pyramids, stone slabs after stone slab. And as I said, it just goes on and on and on. What this build has done is something you don't see very often. It's taken the focus on the player and focused it on scale. Whereas the game is always directed towards your character, now it's directed on size. It's directed on complexity. And there aren't many builds out there even on 2B2T, 
that really give off that feeling. Here we've got a bit of a station that he had. Being this as a single player world, of course there's not going to be any items in the chest. But you can see, <laughs> this is just, it's just crazy what he's done here. I'll just sit back and let you guys take it in. I don't think I'll ever be able to see anything like this again. And I'm unbelievably honored to be the first person, and possibly the only person, to see this build ever. You know, ever since I saw Hard Hat's Pyramid, the original Hard Hat's Pyramid, I couldn't believe my eyes to think that people can be allowed to see places like that. Always, just always was crazy to me. And now here I am, at a build where someone has spent hours of their life creating artwork. It's honestly like nothing I've done before on this game. Now if we head down here, we start to see the mines. As I said, most of the stone slabs were all mined out from the underground. He took the time to mine out every one of these blocks down here, every one of these stone blocks, and move them up to the elevated skyways above. And it just keeps going and going and going. And you can see, I'm not under any haste beacon right now. He mined out every one of these blocks hand by hand with an efficiency 5 pickaxe. Would have taken him ages and ages and ages. I don't know how he managed to do it, where he managed to get the time, but it is the ultimate honor to be able to be at a place like this. While I may never understand how one person can make a build this crazy all by themselves, block after block after block, I can say with 100% certainty, SK2 has designed something that you won't see very often. That is something that needs to be praised. That is something that deserves to be called artwork. This has been SK2 Slab Pyramid. An unbelievably massive, perfectly crafted, flawless build. If you ever see SK2 online, please let him know that his dedication to Hardhat will not go unnoticed.